night vision goggles, scopes, cameras, and other equipments are the brainchild of the very first person to ever create infrared night vision devices, drive. Vladimir Kazwaklin. He was tasked to develop infrared devices for use by the masses and not intended to be used by the military. After its discovery, infrared technology has migrated from providing commercial uses to civilians to war purposes by the military. The company that started developing these first military tools was named EGG, or Algemeine Elektricitats Gesellschaft or literally meaning General Electric Company which is a company manufacturing electric equipment. The manufacture of infrared night vision devices started in 1936 and was finished with a prototype infrared scope by mid-1939 for use with 37mm pack 35-36L-45 anti-tank guns. And by the autumn of 1942, another unit was constructed complete with headlamps and viewers for 75mm pack 40L-46 anti-tank guns, which was also mounted on the Marder II. But the infrared scope was not enough for the Germans' rising military industry needs. By 1943 they started developing a bigger and more powerful infrared scope for the Panther, they're one of the most successful tank model in World War II. They are also very popular sniper gun models that are based on this technology, the Vampire, the PPN-2 night vision scope, the Snooper Scope Infrared M2 on T3 carbine, Sniper Scope Infrared 20,000 volt set NO.1 on M3 carbine, and the and Slashpers 4 we upon sight infrared telescope assembly used on M14 rifle. The Vampire was the first rifle to use an infrared scope weighing at 13.5 pounds. It is an active infrared weapon that is operating in the lighter infrared spectrum rather than heat-based, producing black and white images which is more than enough for experienced snipers to plant a headshot. Soviet-made PPN-2 active via scope on the other hand it is a night vision scope that is intended to be used on PARC, PKT, and PKM weapons. It includes a headlamp to produce some eye light which you can mount on the scope itself or on the remote battery box. The other three rifles and die scope combinations were more improved versions of scopes, literally making them telescopes packed with infrared illumination. This makes the snipers more effective in hitting their prey as they can cover a wide range to about 200 yards. There are two main categories of infrared devices, the active and passive. Active infrared devices do not have ability to multiply low light by themselves and have infrared illumination devices like spotlights with infrared filters or dedicated devices with ILEDs or IR lasers with light spectrum range of 700-1000 nm that is just below the visible light spectrum. Passive infrared devices or night vision devices on the other hand uses image intensifier units which is various low light multiplying ranges starting as low as just several thousands and exceeding 80 single quote 000x on image intensifier cascade systems where each next image intensifier multiply light a previous one. 